Well, to new tonight, we are hearing from the local advocates who stepped up to help dozens of migrants, 140 of them to be exact, who arrived in D.C. on Christmas Eve. Now, this is some video that we didn't have last night. The migrants were bused from Texas to outside the vice president's home, and some of them were just wearing T-shirts despite the frigid temperatures. Our Evan Kozlov has more on their efforts. The goal is really to dump people, you know, in a place where it will make a big political impact. And that's really my point is the cruelty is the point. Tonight we're hearing from Bianca Vasquez, an organizer for the Migrant Solidarity Mutual Aid Network. They were the group that jumped into action on Christmas Eve when buses started to arrive. Three buses, about 140 people. The migrants were dropped off in front of the Naval Observatory on Mass Ave, the home of the vice president. Amy Fisher, also from the Mutual Aid Network, was there to greet those migrants in that 18 degree weather. These buses were actually initially intended to go to New York and then shifted to D.C. because of the weather. Most folks are coming with what they can carry. So people are arriving without adequate clothing um, for the cold weather. And this is not an isolated incident. Just days ago, Texas Governor Greg Abbott stated that they have sent some 8,700 migrants to D.C. since April. They've also sent thousands to New York City, Chicago, and Philadelphia. In a Thursday press release, Abbott pointed the finger at the White House, writing in part, quote, Texas is having to step up and take extraordinary efforts that have never been undertaken by any state in the history of the United States to secure our border. Vasquez says that D.C. is not the final destination for many of these migrants, and many have already been redirected by bus or plane. But for those who are staying, she says they've been placed in hotels. She says over $400,000 has been donated to their network to help these migrants. The $400,000 that we have raised has showed that our local communities want to do that. They want to welcome people. They want to provide support. They want to say that immigrants are welcome in our communities. Now to deal with this influx of migrants, the city has taken drastic action. Back in September, Mayor Muriel Bowser declared a public emergency and created the Office of Migrant Services, allocating an initial $10 million for the program. But Vasquez is telling us tonight that they're urging the city to go even further, offering long-term services to every migrant that needs it. Reporting in Northwest tonight, this is Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9.